there's a lot of people, especially now at this time, people want to do live streams on their own and they want it to be a little bit more professional, which is cool. This is probably one of the most requested videos I get, which is the program I use to live stream. All right, so the first thing you're probably gonna say is, Mimo Live, what is Mimo Live? I've thought about this a number of ways, how to kind of show this in a video. I almost did like a whole tutorial on how to start a project from the beginning to the end, and it was just taking so long. But let me just go through and tell you my top 10 favorite things about this program, and then we can go from there. By the way, shout out to my sponsor, which is uh, me. <laughs> so I have a 70s themed music party coming up. The first thing I'll say is that it's really easy to use. By the way, I'm using my my webcam sitting on top of my camera, uh, just so it kind of, it's so easy to use and you can just drag and drop everything. So like uh, I have backgrounds here and I can easily drag this over what I've created over here, which is backgrounds and it just pops up there. Boom, done. There's my background. There's creative sources like media playlists where you can have songs just kind of on a playlist. Ways to in incorporate other social media outlets onto it. Screen captures, window captures. You can have QR codes that they create for you. You can connect to your iOS devices, which is really, really, really cool. But it also has really creative layer scenes, like throw comments up, have following features. Like if you click this one, let's just see. Over here, click the camera. Now watch this, it sees my face. See that, it's following my face. That's funny. I don't use this enough. It's kind of funny. So, uh, long shot. Boom. Close-up shot. Sorry, I didn't mean to spend so much time on just that one feature. It's pretty cool. A lot of really creative layers. Uh, lower thirds. You got news crawling down below. You can even paint. I'll give myself a mustache. A green one. Hey, guys. Watching sports, you know, you could pause it and do that and point arrows and... Hey, this guy's going here, XXO goes here, blah, blah, blah. Sports. Didn't mean to spend so much time on that one either. There's sidebars for ads where you can easily create an ad, throw an image up there, customize everything about it too, which is great. I love this one too, Source with Distortion. This is really fun to play with. <laughs> you had something in your background, like a picture frame, but it was like a little bit skewed. You can easily have that sit right there. You can spotlight certain spots on the screen. You can use a magnifying glass if we need to get on my eye. Yeah, there's just so many creative ways to play around with this, like so many. I'm just showing you a small amount. You just get on and you just play with each individual thing and you kind of figure out how they work. Yeah, okay. Layer sets. So with layer sets, you can see down here, you can create different layer sets and easily just change between them instead of having to click, you know, live, 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 off, off, off. So if I go recall, like that's, I just call that blackout. So everything's off. And then I have my main look, my screen, where I can have like YouTube videos playing or anything like, I have it, uh, a screen capture on my other screen and I'm doing that through that. I did a 90s party last week and these were like my breaks where I, I pressed and have a break and there's playing commercials from the 90s. If you're used to using like buttons to change scenes and do all that stuff, there's a free app called Mimo Remote. All my layers are right here and I can easily drag them and drop them in. Let's see, I gotta click. If I wanted to go live, I drag it and drop it. So now if I click it, boom, done. And this is wireless as well. This is just going through the network. I could do the layer sets as well. Drag it and drop it. If it's a very important button, you can also change the height and width of it so it's a little bit bigger on your screen. And you can say, you can give it this kind of a, but then I can black out everything. Main layout. It's so fast, it's so responsive. It's amazing, it's it's really, really convenient. The other thing with the Mimo remote is it's actually accessible up here as well. So you can click it here. And if you wanted to do it just via a local browser, maybe it's a little bit harder to do on your iPad, you can set it up all here, and then on your iPad, you can go in and access it. It's, dude, that is insane. Well done, Mimo Live. The next highlight I wanna bring up is a Mimo call. It's like its own Skype, Zoom thing. It's easier for people to come in and do that little video chat with you, and they can see what's on the screen, which is very important. The audio, they can hear everything. You get a link right here. It's always the weirdest little three words, and you can copy that invitation, and then you send it off, and then I'll just, put guest right there. So if they're using a computer, they would use Chrome browser. Uh, if you're using your phone, there is Mimo Reporter. Paste the link in, done. 
and now if I join the call, but look at that, it's pretty good. It actually looks better. Than, it looks better than my than this uh, camera that I'm using right here above my my real camera. I can add more calls, another Mimo call, and it'll give me a different link. And then through your layer stack, if you wanted to have it a completely different layout, um, let's go with split screen. It does it all for you right here. So then we go solo B, solo C, take it off, and it's all three of us again. Even easier, which is what I'll get into next, is you can record shortcuts. So if I put like that button and that button, I'm pressing the keyboard, and it's changing it. Very easy. So that brings me to the next one, which is hotkeys. Hotkeys can be similar to the whole having an iPad as your control surface or your browser as a control surface like we just talked about, but you can just use hotkeys instead. Have a look at these layer sets down here. All my scene layers you can see are different hotkeys. So if I press two, there's that. Press three, it goes to that. Scene, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's very easy. I also have it so that like, you know, if I press up little buttons for sounds, if I have like intro, splash intros, I could press like T for name that thing. It's all very customizable and it's with the keyboard shortcuts that makes it so easy to keep uh, the momentum going. Ready? C. You get a cookie. All right, so the next one I will say is PNG files. If you edit something out or you find something without a background, which is like a PNG file, you can, you know, you click it, you drag it into your appropriate folder that you created. So I have this little logo that I have. I don't think I've ever used this logo before. I can bring this up. I can just drag it into its own little placer thing. And look at that, background is completely gone. I've used this for a number of ways, like to create little frames over pictures, to keep it looking really cool and, and more like 3D. The sky's the limit when it comes to creativity with this stuff. So the next thing I wanna highlight that's really cool is it's got built-in video effects. And if you notice like with these, all these little uh, sources here, there's a little thing that says effects right next to it. You can throw on an anonymous effect where it follows my face. You can add color correction. You can throw up a green screen and do some basic keying. You can just play around with all of the stuff. Mirror. And so you can actually create this as its own source and then bring this in later on. So yeah, there's different effects that you can play with it. Another really cool feature is all the output destinations. So here's a bunch of different uh, outputs. So you can have like virtual camera, NDI. Like I can be on Skype. So whatever you see in this program out, that could be going to someone's Skype look. If you have black magic design, you can connect it with that. Uh, with live streaming, which is what you've seen, you can have multiple live streams. So I can have uh, Facebook on this one, let's just say connect to my Facebook. And then you can also set the size, 1280 by 720 or, or different crazy sizes. Or you could do another RTMP. I can make them go live at the same time. You can also do a file recording. You just want to record it. Let's say you're doing a podcast, like a video podcast, and you want to record the show without actually going live. So all of these, you could say, start with show, stop with show. Um, and then at the top here, you hit start show and it does it all at the same time. So but the last thing I'll say about uh, the software that I think is really cool, they're always developing. Uh, they have great customer support. Anytime I have an issue, I just send them an email. They'll take a look at it. Most of the time it's usually user error, but um, if there's something actually wrong, then they'll have an update and they'll have it all figured out, plus a bunch of new features. I could keep going on this for a long time. I obviously, they're not paying me to say any of this stuff. I just know that there's people out there that are looking to you know, step up their live stream game and they're interested in this kind of stuff. So uh, it's very fun, I enjoy it. And I hope you guys check it out too. So I know in the last video I said I was gonna read the comments on this video, but I'm gonna wait to the next one and just throw them all on there. And that next video is gonna come out soon because it's all about the new computer I bought and I really uh, can't wait to show you what I got. It's really exciting. So do all the things that you need to do, subscribe, buttons, bells, stuff like that. Uh, and I will see you on the next video. And don't worry, more travel stuff, maybe even some ship stuff coming soon. So um, stay tuned. All right, in screen. Just have to sit here for 20 seconds, I guess. Yeah, oh look, there's my uh, channel. Another chance to subscribe. You're probably already subscribed. If you're this far and you haven't clicked the button, you know. Uh, Hey, here's a video if you want to check out more of the live streaming stuff, uh, my music setup, and um, all the gear that I use. Here's the, here are those videos. Oh, 
his 20 seconds without me talking and I just screwed up the talking part of it.